All right, how's this? How do I get running in here? Good morning and good afternoon. Um, how do I get Rowan? Oh, now I'm on one Lone Star joint. Oh, no, wait, join the... Here we go. Did that work? I don't think that worked. Um, oh, connecting. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. We did it. Good morning. I work it out. <laughs> Good job. Very impressive. Thanks. It's all downhill from here. I know. What's up, man? How are you? I'm good, dude. We have a lot of people already. This is crazy. I'm, uh, I'm excited to talk about the work that we did, how it was, the episodes tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Which I think are going to be... Yeah, my hoodie does say 911. So somebody just asked. Um, Sick. So, uh, yeah, I, I think tomorrow's episode is going to be one the of the greatest best. Ever. One of the best of, um, of either franchise. Like, I'm, I'm really, really excited for people to see it. Um, I have a question for you. Okay. So what was your first reaction when you found out that we were going to be doing it? Oh, my God, man. I was, I mean, I was crazy excited. I just didn't realize it was going to be this fast. You know, I, I always heard that, like, you know, we'd let our season sort of play on and, and really sort of get into the flow of things. But for it to be episode three, um, I mean, it's pretty immediate, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and being a fan of the show, I mean, I, I could see why it's so crazy for people because it, cause it is so immediate. Um, I was super excited. Also a little nervous, you know, because it's like, I mean, the episode is gigantic. Mm -hmm. So it's like sort of getting into that um, after having such a huge break and a lot of time off. And um, it was it was a lot of emotions, but it was mainly just excitement, man. How about you? Yeah, first of all, I totally agree with the like um, immediacy of it, because whenever we start a season, even if it's just a usual hiatus of like three months or whatever, those first couple of weeks, I'm always like, how do I do this? Like, can I still yeah. do this? Like, yeah. you, have to, you have to like almost warm up. I always feel like some of my biggest scenes get put on my first day. I'm always yeah. like, oh, come on. Um, so, so yeah, so having this relatively early on into the season was like, ah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I heard about it, I think when, I think towards the end of last season. No, no, that can't have been. It must have been quite early on in the, the, the pandemic where, you know, having conversations about what the upcoming season would be and hearing about it. Um, and yeah, I, I know what you mean about the kind of nervousness because even though I, you know, I've met most of you guys before it and obviously I know the writers and everything, but it still felt like I'm going to be in a new show. It was almost yeah. like first day of school because yeah, you guys... Yeah. You guys obviously will know each other and like know each other, know each other and have connections and relationships. And then it's like we were new kids and there was only three of us and there's yeah. eight of you. And it was so, yeah, so it was a little bit intimidating. Um, but everybody was so well. I mean, I'm so intimidating. I can, so intimidating. I get it. I get it. Um, yeah. Terrifying, truly. But uh, <laughs> so, we didn't even but, talk. but we didn't you talk guys were so. Time. Huh? We didn't even talk the entire time. I told the producers, I was like, Oliver is not allowed to make eye contact with me. That's what I heard. I heard that yeah. you were like that on set. Yeah, I'm, I'm so that that's why I came in with that attitude. Um, but no, you guys were great. And, and, you know, that first day that we shot, which when the episode airs, people will see it's like the first, one of the first scenes. Yeah. Um, it's a huge scene where we had, you know, maybe 150 um, background artists and, and there was a lot going on. And it was just like a, it was a big day um and the smoke so, everywhere and it was the, yeah it was when the literally the entire hillside was on fire yeah and if you were there as a stranger you would have literally thought that the mountain was on fire um we've yeah, had that you know was, we've been crazy. shooting and we've had the fire department called on us because of smoke oh wow in the second season we did the yeah second season we did this like neighborhood was blowing up it was at disney ranch and so we had fire, we had smoke, 
Wow. And it was on the news because people thought it was real. Wow. And, um, wow. So Dude, it's funny I, when... If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time Lone Star is fighting a fire. Oh, same thing. It took us like two seasons. Yeah, I, I think that's something that people always assume since we're mm -hmm. firefighters is that, you know, we're fighting fire, but it's actually like, at least since like modern technology, fires are like super uncommon. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's mainly like, it's, it's medical calls, if I'm not mistaken. I, I, believe, I believe it's something like 80% of the calls that they go on yeah. is, is, is medical, um, which I think is cool because I didn't know that. So to yeah, show the like, the, the wide spectrum of emergencies that these guys and girls are trained for and do go out on, I think is cool because fires are hard, I think as well, to like continually make interesting. Because once you've done the fire, um, you know, it's, 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 it's like you've done it, you've told it. Um, yeah, exactly. You know, thankfully we, we've got a big one coming up actually in our fifth episode. And it is interesting to see how they make it feel fresh, what they write in and, and, and you know, how it, how it feels is, different than last. Is episode five your begins episode? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot Those went into photos that. you posted, man. You look like a cowboy. It's amazing. Yeah, we get we get little um, vignettes and glimpses into you know the jobs that while he was trying to discover himself um, and, and find out who he is, what 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 paths he took. But um, it'll be fun. But we had to talk about the crossover. I can't. Which me just make this into a Buck Begins live. <laughs> Dude, what was, what was your, uh, I can't really pinpoint it, but what, what was your favorite scene to shoot during the crossover? Um, oh, also, we, we're not really allowed to, like, no, we, we, can, much, we, can, but, we can give yeah, enough. We can. Yeah. Um, which is suddenly, there's a red dot appears on my head. Disney just, <laughs> um, I, I, there's two, it's between two. Um, the, the, there's a scene in the episode, to anybody listening, watching, where TK's in quite a vulnerable place, and, and I, I bring him some pizza, yeah. uh, which goes uneaten. But um, I, I, I really enjoyed that scene because it was a charm. I, I feel like throughout the shows, our characters have been, certainly have a lot in common. I think they're both quite chaotic in nature. Oh, yeah. Um, both extremely passionate about their jobs, both really wear their hearts on their sleeves. And so to see those two guys kind of be very vulnerable and, and open with each other when there's so much chaos around them, I really yeah. enjoyed that kind of much more intimate moment. Um, so that, or I think there's a scene uh, where we're working the fire line, where myself, you, and, and Julian as Matteo, <laughs> yeah. I really like that. Just the three different personalities while we're doing our job, like having those kind of conversations where really yeah. it's, a, it's a, almost like a, my, my dad is the strongest dad, you know? It was, it was my firehouse is the coolest firehouse. Exactly. So I, I yeah. really enjoyed that. Um, I feel like your answer is probably somewhat similar, but w would you say the same ones? No, it was, it was all the scenes that you weren't in. So mm. it's... Um, and you had so many of those. Yeah, sorry, dude. So many uh, crossover moments without me. Yeah it's it's not that big of a deal mm. um no it, it is and and what i love about the first scene you mentioned is that um the writers were brilliant enough to have us connect on a very specific thing mm -hmm. that is very near and dear to our hearts um and you obviously have to watch the scene um but it's it, it was beautiful to see them connect on such a you know a crucial thing in their lives um and then you open up to me Mm -hmm. about something that I don't know if a lot of people know about. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I'm a complete stranger. Um, but you saw me literally at the lowest. And, and TK in that moment is super helpless, like truly helpless. Like, uh, I don't know if he's been more helpless um, throughout the show. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact that you did open up to me that way and, you know, yesterday I was able to reveal like a like a five second snippet of what happens on the fire line. Mm -hmm. The 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 um the car coming down. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that was that was released. Yeah. Uh, Et got an exclusive look. Um. So, yeah. So they they revealed a little bit, but it's nice. It's um. 
it's again it just shows like what our characters go through and just like these little sort of easter eggs that we're getting so far um, yeah and that's just not even that's just not yeah. even the beginning of it there's so much that happens in this episode when i was first told again not to make this into a buck begins life but when i was first told about that mo that scene that we're talking about and you're talking yeah. about opening up a little bit and talking about you know buck's life i was told about that scene and told as it also like it, it is part of the lead-in to buck begins you know the, the things they're discussing there and and family and all these things so um so yeah no, i was i was really exuded uh exuded i can't talk anymore excited do you know why i said exuded because just as i was saying that somebody wrote the yellow clown suit looks good on you guys so i saw the word suit so instead of excited i went for exuded um so don't read and talk because you get yourself into trouble are you going to be live tweeting the episode no i i don't live tweet because so here's what I do. I don't read any scene that I'm not in. So I actually have no idea what's going on. And also, why waste the time? <laughs> yeah. If it's not about me, who cares? Why, um, why, why is that your process? Why don't you read any of those scenes? Because you want to be like surprised? Watching, I, I like watching the show as a fan. Um, mm -hmm. And then, you know, unless it like directly has to do with but even no because even even if like you know owen is talking to let's say uh, like tommy about tk i i don't need to know that sure That's it's not something that tk would know so why do you need to know exactly and and mm -hmm. i like truly being surprised when i watch the episode um i think that's why i'm such a big fan of the show because i have no idea what's happening except for my scenes um, i have no idea what's happening in your scenes so it's crazy <laughs> Uh, so. But yeah, no, I will not be live tweeting. Um, okay. However, for the crossover, just because I was so excited, I did read the whole episode. Um, but it's still it it you can't you can't imagine what it's gonna look like from the script to the screen, especially this episode. Um, you know, from all the little snippets that we've seen, it looks like it's gonna be like a gigantic war film. Mm. So I I uh, I like. I like just being in the moment and, you know, even the commercials, I sort of geek out over like what commercials are they playing during our show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, but then obviously, you know, I'll live tweet after. How about you? Uh, I, I don't think so. Um, I, I, I've, I, well, <laughs> I deleted my Twitter app recently, not my account, but just my app. I'm just, I don't think I'm very good at it. So I'm, I'm just <laughs> stepping away for a minute. Um, is there a so, way to be good at that, at that stuff? I think so. I, I, I find that I have struggled to express myself the way I mean on there sometimes, which then leads to misinterpretation, which leads to uh, offense being caused when I, I, I just, yeah. And I, I miss it because there were some people on there that I really enjoyed, um, a lot of people. But I just, yeah, just for the moment, I think it's best for everybody's interest if I uh, just take a, a, a few weeks away. And, okay. uh, and then and then at some point come back but i i i yeah it was it was i've had a lot of fun on there like tweeting with people um through episodes in the past and and because you know anytime you make something you make it for an audience um you don't you don't make it just for yourself you so to, to see an audience reacting to it and and you know which is quite a new thing five years ago ten years ago when twitter wasn't so big you didn't get that immediate feedback exactly um, yeah so it's such an interesting thing to get to be a part of and and uh yeah so I'm, I, I will go back to it because uh, I, I do miss it i just for now i think is maybe for the best um it's so, your time man yes how are we gonna get the 126 out to la oh my god dude Another fire? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you should be a writer. <laughs> I'm really creative. No, but it's funny that, like, it, you know, well, it's not funny, but California has had some of the worst wildfires in the last, like, five mm -hmm. years. Um, and, you know, you would assume that that would be one of the reasons. It's interesting mm -hmm. that, um, you know, there's, I mean, there's a lot of forests in Texas, obviously, but it's interesting that the wildfire was um, uh, in Texas. But, I mean, it would make a lot of sense for it to be a wildfire in um in los angeles mm -hmm. uh and and that's what happened in real life you know the past i think three years there's been there's been departments that have come in from all different states and cities 
um, and I think that's sort of where they were inspired by the storyline is that mm -hmm. that actually happens. You know, when, when you don't have enough resources in your city or county, you have to have people come and help. Um, and, you know, it's, I mean, it's a long drive, but it's doing 20 hours, I believe. Yeah, 20 hours. Uh, we'd be saying the episode, but yeah. So, I mean, that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, you would think of a fire. What about you? Yeah. Um, that there, there's, there's. Yeah. Okay. I thought my phone crumbled. Um, it was Disney. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the next knows. one is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give away all the ideas. Um, maybe it doesn't need to be an emergency. Maybe it's, it's you know, because obviously there have been connections now built. Maybe, maybe there's something where you guys are coming out to see us. And <laughs> I mean, I think I said something quiet enough that anyway, fudge is what I said. Um, oh my God, did you just curse? Never, never. Um, oh. So yeah, so, so, so we always used to talk about, or our class used to joke about like, maybe we all go to, because we just, because we wanted to go and film in Hawaii. Maybe we all go and shoot in Hawaii as like the one in oh team God. goes on holiday and then the emergency happens while we're there. And we just like, oh, we can pitch in. So maybe it's that kind of thing where you guys just come in to hang out and um, catastrophe strikes, the aliens land and, yes. and it's all hands on deck, standing on top of the fire truck, hoses pointed up into the air. Um, <laughs> which I'm sure by like season eight, I don't know how, you know, Tim and those guys are gonna, they, they just continue to come up with these incredible emergencies. But I do think at some point it's like, what do you do? Thankfully, yeah, I, it's, not, I mean, it's not our job, but they, they, they keep on mining these things for gold. We've done almost every major natural disaster there is. You know, what's, what do you, like, what's next? But I like that idea. You know, they're, they're even, they've even been teasing it a little bit with, like, they're, they've been doing this new thing. I'm sure a lot of people have seen where it's like, uh, Owen is texting. Um, oh, on the Instagram stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. captain and, like. And then Marjan was texting Angela, and it's like, oh, you know, if you're ever in Texas, let's get a coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, Eddie's from Texas. Mm -hmm. um, Which is how I always thought maybe the crossover would go. Like, yeah, that same. we would be going there to see Eddie's family or something, and then we'd get brought together. Um, that was my not right a brain idea, which is not anywhere near as dramatic or as epic as, as what actually happened. <laughs> well, we're just going I mean, to see his family. If you remember in, I won't say when, one of the scenes together, uh, you may or may not have left a slightly open door. Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. um, Disney's here. I gotta go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. So those, those, those relationships have certainly, and also I, I feel like anything um, that big that these characters have gone through, you know, on the, on the scale they're dealing with, of course bonds are gonna be quickly formed. And, 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 you know, when you put characters in such an intense environment and have them really on the brink and then coming back from that, I think people are always gonna be, you know, um, really invested in each other by that point. Yeah, so, so, know, yeah. obviously everyone, everyone's gonna wanna see it, you know? And I think, you know, you could just assume that we're gonna come to you guys eventually. Um, mm -hmm. are, we, are we shooting the crossover next week? <laughs> <laughs> that, that soon, huh? <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> it's like, what begins, we come to Los Angeles. That's, that's what's on my schedule. For buck ends. Buck ends. I shouldn't joke like that. No, no, writers, no. Someone probably from the writers was probably watching. Ooh, buck ends. Scribbles that down. Like, yeah, maybe. Damn it. No, I've done it to myself. Absolutely. Um, should we see if any people have any questions that they want to ask, which I'm sure there are some. Yeah. Um, I mean, dude, this is the most people I've ever had on Instagram Live. I guess does anybody have a, a of question? Because silly mug. That's why. I don't think that's quite true. Can All right. Yeah, American no, I'll tell you that's not dying. Um, anybody got a question? That isn't Someone just... Someone says, can you do your American accent? Uh, that's yeah, not a real I, question. 
I've been doing it the whole time, but well. you have. Mm, could do you some work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this question. Although it's a bit spoilery, so we'll have to answer it without. Um, what's your favorite part of the crossover that doesn't involve you? No comment. Who cares? Great. <laughs> there are other scenes. What do you mean? <laughs> um, my favorite part of the crossover <clears throat> isn't me. Involves Judd, and you won't have read the scene because you're not in it. Um, but I have read the scene, <laughs> and um, there's 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 a moment where Judd goes full what I like to refer to as Judd mode, and 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 bring somebody gets in there and and is is the most Judd he can be in that moment, and and pull somebody back. And, and I just think it's so powerful. Reading it, I was like, man, he's gonna crush this moment. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see it tomorrow night. I was like, <laughs> it's like what oh, are I, have, I actually have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, well, when you watch it, there's a scene with Judd. Is it with another it. member of your team or our team? Uh, yeah, Eddie is there. Uh, no, he's not there. It's, it's, it's uh, Judd and Paul. Huh, no idea. Well, because it doesn't say TK on the page. <laughs> so why would you read that? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, um, any favorite stunts from the crossover? Uh, yes, I, I was talking about it the other day. Um, you were so badass in, in the scene. We're pulling up to the helicopter crash. Mm. You're, you, of course, are hanging off the side of the truck. It's so awesome. Um, and then we both hop out at the same time and we're sprint like hauling ass towards this, this crashed helicopter. And like you climb into it and I climb under it and we like yell at each other. And then I pop out and then I jump from the helicopter onto the ground and then we sprint towards the forest. And that, I mean, dude, you do that like a couple dozen times, your mm -hmm. blood is pumping so yeah, yeah, yeah. hard and you get, I had such an adrenaline high that day. Um, and you know, you can't fake that. Like mm -hmm. they put in a, like a weird little ladder in the helicopter. But at one point I just started like literally scaling the wall. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then you jump down and it's, it was, that was yeah. really exhilarating. It was really I remember, I remember when we were setting it up, Brad, Brad Beaker, who's the director of the episode, who's out all of you coming from this side. And I, I looked at it and there's like, um, one of the rungs up there. And I was like, you want me to just climb it and come in from the top? And he was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we did that and I don't know if you can see, but you see all this here? This is tattoo cover, so ignore that. But like these bits. Yeah, what is that? Because I scraped myself up and it's scarred. So I have an, and I, this same thing here, this scar here from climbing that helicopter. Oh shit, really? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I know I got scratched up in the day. We had the medic come over, you know, disinfect it because it was a roughly helicopter. But I've been, I've been left with remnants oh of the crossover on my body so as much as i try and forget that experience you'll I, never uh, forget me now i as much as i try um <laughs> it's just i got awesome. i got a, i got a new one yeah what'd you do i tripped you tripped we put it on a hat yeah <laughs> <laughs> um on the show I, or just in your life no, I was on the show. I, I didn't trip. I, I, I forgot what I did. This week has been a blur. It's weird coming back from holiday and then going into what, what the What episode are you guys shooting? Huh? What, what number episode are you guys shooting now? Uh, we're about to be done with six, which is... Might be my most crucial episode I've had so far. TK Begins? No. <sighs> TK Ends. Yes. I mean, oh. <laughs> no, it's uh, man, I don't even know if you know. Like, I, I don't know. If, no, we talked about it in private. I think I don't know your story. Yeah, why would I mean? You wouldn't even ask. You don't care. So yeah, no, but it's much like you not reading other people's scenes. I want to be surprised. No, it's 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 insane. It's a it's a it's a it's a new chapter in TK's life. That's all I can say. I'm very intrigued. A big, big, big chapter. So we'll see. Okay. 
I'm very intrigued. I don't know what that could be. I'll tell you after. All right. All right, watch the episode. Um, what are your... Favorite color? My favorite color is blue, green, um, sometimes yellow. Thanks for asking. That'll pull the ratings in, questions like that. <laughs> What's been the most rewarding thing to you being part of Lone Star? Oh my God, dude. It's been a lot. It's been the greatest sort of moment of my life and obviously career, but um, I've, I've connected with people from probably every single part of the world now. Um, if there was a country that I thought would not be able to see this show, they have. Um, literally from the furthest parts of the planet, um, someone has reached out and said, the show has touched me or I, I, I can relate to the character. Or, you know, I feel seen, I feel heard, I feel, you know, understood for the first time ever. Um, and I think that's the beauty of our shows being on network television, you know, because we have such a huge, huge access to an audience. Mm -hmm. I saw you guys averaged like 11 million the last two episodes and we averaged 9.7. It's like, that is so many people. I, I still have a hard time wrapping my head around it. Mm. Um, you know, that's that's more than like most cities um <laughs> and it, you know to to hear some like really really gnarly personal stories um for someone that is just you know a tv character to them um to see how people connect to um characters on television or film it really changes at least for me it changed my whole sort of perspective of like what this show is, what this character means, um, you know, because I love TK very much, but it adds such another layer of like what TK means to people, um, and it's just you know, it's it's just a major responsibility that I'm super proud to take on. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it's just you know, it's you have so many people to sort of go to work for, so many people to you know put in your your best effort and, and put in you know your 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 uh what's that word english is my third language um your, j yeah just put just put in your your greatest effort you know there's times mm -hmm. where i'm so beat up or i'm so exhausted you know we shoot 14 16 hours sometimes you gotta wake up at five in the morning four in the morning and if i'm like oh i don't want to go to work it's like so many people are relying on you to go to work right now you know yeah like they need to see this show for multiple reasons. Um, it, it could just be an hour of escapism from their real lives. Are you crying? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, I was, I was getting a bit bored. Sorry. Um, no, no, I just sank in my eye. Um, no, I, I understand that. Um, wow. <laughs> Whatever. I'm I was crying. I was crying. Um, no, I, I think that's a lovely answer, and I understand it. That's 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 for sure the the biggest thing. I get that. I feel you sick. Go to, you go to sleep now. Thank you. Um, no, no, no. I I I I I can relate to that. It's um, you know, it's, it's certainly the biggest thing I've ever been a part of, um, with the the widest reaching thing, and and it's cool to be a part of something like that where where literally, as you say, all over the world. Um, and I think it's a very I think they're very hopeful shows. You know, I, I, I'm often asked, why do you think the 911 franchise has had so much success? Um, and and I, I think because it, there's a, a lot of TV, TV sites take a really dark turn, I think, where everybody wanted gritty and, and, yes. and you know, then 911, the original came out, you know, three, four years ago and it was like, look how shiny we are. And, and, and everybody's like, it's just bright and happy. Um, and then, you know, Lone Star continues that in a sense of, as civilians, it's always nice to know that when you get in danger, there are these people that will run into that fire. They will run towards it when everybody else wants to run away. So I think, I think it's a very hopeful thing and, and to shine the light on those people and not in, because I, I, I don't consider them procedurals. 
Um, no. I think that was the like hook, but it, it's not, it's not just about them going to work. It's absolutely about them going home and the, the people that they are. So, so to, to show that and to highlight that these people that will run into the danger for you are real people and they do have their own issues and their own emergencies and they drop all that so that they can save you, I think is a very lovely reminder and a very helpful yeah. thing. Um, so I th and I think both shows achieved that wonderfully. Absolutely. Especially after the year we've had mm -hmm. when first responders are literally on the front lines. Um, it's just a nice little reminder of like, they're just regular people. They have families, you know, they're somebody's brother, sister, whatever, yeah. you know, um, they're just brave, decent, brave men and women a, who. That was a decent answer. Thanks, man. I had it. I, I, I had it here. I got a little script. <laughs> you wrote it down. Yeah, yeah. I figured I'll ask him the question because then I know he'll ask me the question, and I'll read, and uh, wow, it will go down well. Hopefully, this is going horribly. A lot of people seem to think your house is on fire. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if you're reading <laughs> those comments, but a lot of people think there's a fire in your house. It's insane. It's something burning. <laughs> it's, All right, it's insane. It's All right. Yeah, I like everybody. To calm down. Show. And if it was burning down, he's highly trained. Probably. Highly trained. Possibly. I'd probably Maybe. call you. It's too far away. I know. I'd be screwed. You'd be screwed by the time you'd be... Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Ronan with smoking. Why so many smoke? It's just See? incense. I wanted to set the mood for Oliver, but... Wasn't into it. Yeah, sir. It burned Bird. out literally just now, so it's fine. Phew. Everybody can relax. Um, lots of people want you to talk about Talos. So, what's going on? Oh, what? Oh. All right. You know what? I got to say it because I got to say it. <clears throat> Two words. Episode four. What does it all mean? I've been teasing people all year about two scenes that might be the new fan favorites. Oh, okay. Oh, I was worried. I thought you meant like, it's done. Oh, hell no. Oh, okay. Okay. Season four. I mean, episode, episode four. four. Episode four. <laughs> I was talking about my show. No, <laughs> I meant episode four. <laughs> episode four, two scenes. That's where they come. This is an exclusive reveal. Okay. And no, we have not seen them yet in the promos. Okay. I hope they don't. I really hope they don't show you anything. What we're wearing, what the setting is. And I meet his parents episode four. <laughs> and here it is. <laughs> I hope they don't tell you anything. Anyway, this is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that's public information. The parents. Is public. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> that's um. All right, something to look out for. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold oh, on. there's more. Do you have a love interest this season? No, yet. I think I think I don't know if you, and I don't want to assume that you would, but I don't know if you you watch our show. Um, but at the end of our third season. Don't roll your eyes. And in about third <laughs> season, um, you know, he, he kind of got his closure from his previous relationship, which was with Abby. Yes. Um, and now, so we just revealed in, at the end of our second episode, uh, second episode of this season that he's in therapy. Yes. So, so it's very much a time um, of growth and, and, and he's working on himself. And, you know, I think, I think it's very much that thing of, and I know it's so cliche to say, but you until you love yourself, you can't properly love somebody else. And so, so it really seems like the stuff that he worked through in the first five, six episodes of the season um, are things that he has to deal with or he's just going to take these issues into his next relationship and his next relationship. So, yeah, it's very much a time for him to process why he is who he is, what has made him this way. Um, and then who knows going forward, you know, what, what they'll end up uh, writing for Buck. But yeah, no, right now it seems like a time of just him, him growing into himself and, and, and kind of moving past certain things. Yeah. And, so and also, I think it's great to show 
therapy. Um, yes, I was just going to say that, especially from such a like, you know, masculine, uh, you know, a, a very, a very big character, um, very, um, quote unquote, manly. Um, mm. You know, there's there's a weird stigma that, you know, men shouldn't shouldn't or can't do therapy. You know, it's not very machismo. It's mm -hmm. And I think that's complete horseshit. You know, I, I have a therapist. I, I, don't, I don't know what your thing is, but, you know, it's I think it's everyone should be able to talk about their feelings and their past. And, 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 you know, we don't realize how much, you know, our past or, or, or you know, grown up as a, as a kid, wherever you are, how much that affects us today as adults. Yeah. It's hard to process all that completely on your own. You know, these like therapists are professionals for a reason. That's their mm -hmm. job. Um, and sometimes you just need to vent to someone that is, you know, very much neutral. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I couldn't so, agree more. I like, what, one of the that. things that I've always loved about Buck is that he is all those things you described. Then he's also like super vulnerable and, and, and okay with his emotions. And like yeah. to show that you can be both things at the same time. I think it's quite a rare thing on TV. I, I don't think we've been given a lot of that. It tends to be like, manly man. Exactly. Or, oh, soft, I'm emotional. And like to show that, no, no, no. Like, human beings have so many different layers. Um, it's, it's always been, I think, one of my favorite things about, about the whole show. So, yeah. you know, and, and of course, being able to go to therapy in itself is even a privilege, you know. You know there's a cost involved there. But if, if, if there is access to it, you're right. I just, I just think... It's, it's, it's beneficial for anyone. Um, I, I know that for me growing up in the UK, like therapy actually seems a bit more accepted out here than I ever found it to be in the UK. When, when, well, when I was growing up, I felt like, or at least in the groups or the, the, the settings I was growing up in, therapy was like this thing that you went to when everything had gone wrong. Yes. Whereas what I've understood here and, and learned from people is that therapy is much more a thing of just keeping that balance. And, 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 and then it's totally an important and normal thing to, 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 to talk yep. and, 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 and like to express those emotions and let them out. And so to get to show that on TV and, you know, there's actually a, a scene coming up. I know they teased it in a trailer where my dad who comes into the show says, oh, you're in therapy. And it's kind of this thing of like, it's not about the job, which would be, more socially acceptable maybe because but it's like no it's that it's about me and 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 to be okay with that so yeah i'm, I'm really glad that we're showing that storyline and, and just having this characters dealing with things yeah it's the same thing man you know i grew up in uh with really heavy russian culture mm -hmm. and it's the men never talk about their feelings even mm -hmm. even women nobody mm -hmm. talks about their feelings it's a very cold I know this is very, you know, stereotypical, but sure. it, it's, it's, it's a very cold culture, especially, you know, my parents are from the Soviet Union mm -hmm. and it's like feelings, we didn't talk about them. Mm -hmm. Like it was, you, you had to survive. We don't care how you feel, just survive. Yeah. Um, and, you know, growing up in America, it, it was, it was a culture shock that like, first of all, we're allowed to talk about it and you know, now as an adult, it's, it's encouraged. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's really important that you guys are showing that storyline, uh, specifically with your character. Yeah. Um, and then what you said, which is really interesting, you know, like on the surface, you know, many people might think that Buck is this like, you know, really like machismo, tough, uh, charismatic dude, but on the inside, he's super vulnerable. And I think that's what connects um, Buck and TK in the crossover. Mm -hmm. And it's a full circle, you know? And it's like you said, we do have a lot of similarities and, and we definitely wear our heart on our sleeves. Um, and I think, I think that's why people connect to them so much is that because we're showing all these layers and it's not very much, you, we're not judging a book by its cover with these characters. Yeah. You know? it's, there's so much going on with these two. Um, and I, th I think it's such a beautiful connection for them too. Um, no, I agree. Yeah. And I'm excited for people to see it tomorrow. Number oh. one is at eight seven central. Nine one one Lone Star. Nine eight central. Yeah, didn't mess that up. Um, and and I, I'm really excited for people to see it. And and a lot of people's a lot of different people's hard work went into it. So uh, 
I hope they. Wait, so is your is your is the episode before the crossover? You guys pretty much leaving to, for Texas? Yeah, so it leads directly in. Um, you know, you, you get a bit of build up and and some Easter eggs into it, and then and then so yes, yeah, two so, hours of buck. Absolutely. That's, I'm sure. That. I'm sure. Three thousand and thirty-one people just made that same face. That's Jesus. a dip. Right. <laughs> We're gonna see a dramatic dip. Yeah, Did probably. You... Yeah, they're gonna learn their lesson real fast. Um, <laughs> but uh, cool. What What are you doing for the rest of the day? Man, uh, fireplace and naps and hydration. Sounds good. That's about it, man. I, we, we work tomorrow. I have a, I have a big Tarlow scene tomorrow for episode seven. All right. Still haven't read it, which is annoying, but it's okay. What about you? Same old, same old, you know, it's not much to do at the moment. So, um, no. yeah, I'm going to probably look at my scenes for the week. Uh, I'm off tomorrow, but then I'm going to start Tuesday. So just get ahead and uh, go eat some food. Oh, what are you going to eat? I don't know. I made a, a vegetable curry last night. I have leftovers. Probably that. Nothing right. exciting. Nothing ever is. That sounds so depressing. But <laughs> That's going to be the title of your book. Nothing exciting. <laughs> yeah. Nothing ever is. <laughs> Whew, Listen, vegetable curry gets the me very excited. Mm -hmm. Vegetable curry gets me very excited. I'm going to go get a... There's this place near where I'm staying. Uh, they make the most insane vegan burritos um, with a bell pepper uh, tortilla wrap. All right. Sounds good. Maybe I want to make that as well then. I'm hey. jealous now. Um, cool. All right. Well, listen, I'm glad we got to Been do this. Been a pleasure. Uh, they, they told us 10, 15 minutes. We've been on for 42 minutes. So uh, a lot of fluff. Wait, but, they told us we can only be on here for 10, 15 minutes? Not that they, we, they said to me, they said to me I only have to be on here for 10 or 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> I said, wait, how long am I going to have to talk to this guy? They said, just what? 10, 15 minutes. I said, all right, fine. <laughs> Make it eight. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's the high estimate, right? Um, but I'm glad all we right, did well, it's it. Been, it's been lovely, man. Tomorrow's going to... It's going to, I think it's going to change our franchise, man. I hope so. I, I think, as I say, a lot of hard work went in from a lot of different people. And I, I think that will be reflected in the episode. And I think you guys are all going to love it. Absolutely. Cool. All right. All right, man. Pleasure. See you. Have a good I'll one. See you. I'll see you when I see you. Yeah, you will.